Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. Sup? This is not quite a talk show. These are our miniature episodes until our brand new Tomorrow Daily set gets finished. Uh, So we have been talking all last week about who the new host is. Well, I think it's time to finally tell you guys. Uh, A few of you got it right. I said, used to or still works with CNET. J, name starts with J, and it's a guy. That's right. Three of you, I think, got it right. It's Jeff Kanata, DLC, We Have Concerns totally rad show all that great stuff that he's done and is doing right now he's gonna come be our co-host uh, we're super excited to have jeff on board and like we said we will get that going as soon as our set gets constructed in this beautiful new studio uh, but for now let's hit the headlines good news everyone there's water on mars Sort of. So no need to bury the lead today. NASA announced there is liquid water on Mars, and they have some pretty compelling evidence to back it up. Long story short, a team spotted dark streaks that they called recurring slope lineae, or RSL, on Mars' surface that looked an awful lot like liquid water does when it goes downhill. Uh, They discovered that back in 2011, and with the help of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, they were able to decide that, in fact... Those lines are liquid water flowing and dissolving on Mars's surface. Now, we've known for a while that Mars has water in the form of ice caps, but this marks the first time that NASA is confirming liquid water actually exists on Mars. Now, whether the water comes from Mars's thin atmosphere or from some sort of underground aquifer or other water source, we're not quite sure. But we do know that the streaks on the surface are hydrated salts with molecular water inside their structure. It's more abundant when Mars is experiencing warmer temperatures, which lines up with how water actually changes with our temperatures here on Earth. Now, unfortunately, the existence of this salty, briny liquid water doesn't actually confirm microbial life on Mars, but it's still a really cool thing to see NASA confirm an idea that they've had for a while now. Okay, so now let's go from really cool things happening on Mars to super creepy things happening here on Earth, and by that I mean caress of the gaze. Okay, this is the creepiest cape I have ever seen in my life. It's a little bit of fashion from designer Baynaz Farahi, and it's a 3D printed cape that has a hidden camera on board. So when it notices that you're staring at it, it actually changes shape and responds in kind. It's made of varying 3D printed materials with different levels of flexibility, so it kind of looks like it's alive when it's moving. And the designer says the cape, quote, responds accordingly, depending on who's looking at it, which would suggest to me some potential for maybe gender or age recognition kind of interesting thing I don't know I mean it's all super weird and I'm not really sure about it and all I know is that if I saw this cape on the street and I looked at it and it started moving I would start screaming kill it with fire and I would look for something really heavy to bludgeon the person wearing it with just putting that out there which brings us to our hashtag of the day which is TD cape Uh, We want to know if you were a superhero, what would your name be, number one? And number two, if you had a living cape, what exactly would it do for you that would be so special? Uh, Okay, so now that we've talked about that and I cannot wait to hear your responses, we need to discuss high heels. Now this one goes out to all my ladies out there. A Japanese designer might have figured out a way to get me and other people who hate wearing high heels to put them on. This is from designer Yasu Yuki Yamada. He is a biomechatronics researcher at Chuo University in Tokyo, and he has come up with an idea for women's high heels that he says is way more ergonomic and will actually alleviate a lot of the tendon pain that high heel wearers suffer from. Pretty interesting stuff. The cool shoes are called Yachika, and they have a really neat design on the heel that's composed of two curved planes. Yamada went the extra mile to test the impact of his design by actually using motion capture analysis of a woman walking in the heels and then comparing them to her walking in a different pair of standard high heels. Now, it does look like these actually help women wearing high heels, which is pretty cool. Now, we'll see Yamada's updated and improved design at Tokyo Design Week next month in October. But for now, I'm already super into this design, and I totally want a pair because it'll kind of, in a very small way, make me feel like that amazing assassin lady in Kingsman the Secret Service. Okay, guys, we already talked about the news. We're done with the headlines. Let's talk about using lasers to shave. This is Back at Her Hackett. I'm going to introduce you to a product that... 
I'm not really sure about. I want your opinion on it. This is called the Scarp Laser Razor, and it does exactly what it says it does. Uh, its creators say it's a razor-shaped aluminum device that replaces a typical razor at the end with a laser to shave your hair off. This seems like a terrible idea, you guys. Uh, they say the prototype does not actually burn your hair off, which is what I thought it did originally. It actually apparently cuts it exactly at skin level for an incredibly close and smooth shave. Once again, this is according to its creators. They say the laser on board will last about 50,000 hours, could be used without water, could be very good for the environment because then we wouldn't be throwing away all of these razors, they wouldn't be in landfills, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, I'm not really sold yet because I don't quite relish the idea of taking a laser to my body because I am not a trained professional, and I think that that is an important thing to remember. Also, the video does not really depict a close shave with an actual working prototype. So they have a render that is kind of like, okay, yeah, it's super duper smooth. Well, yeah, it's a render. Of course it's smooth. But then in practicality, when they show the guy using the laser that they want to use to cut his hair off, uh, it looks pretty jaggedy. The hair is not very smooth. I don't know. Well, they want $160,000, which seems like kind of a lot of money, except they've already blown past that by about four times or more. They've raised over $700,000. So this thing is happening. And if you want one, you can get on board for about 160 bucks. Uh, as for me, I think I will wait for version 2.0. Uh, so on that note, let's check out our photographer of the day. Our photographer of the day is, and I'm gonna pronounce this the way I would imagine, Odin saying it in the Thor movies, Thorgear. Now Thorgear took this picture with his one plus one and he writes to us and says, hi TD crew, my name is Thorgear, which in Icelandic means Thor's weapon. That's the best name in the universe. Uh, I took this picture on a one plus one while picking berries with my girlfriend near Reykjavik in Iceland. The picture shows the Icelandic flora in all its diversity and glory. Best regards, Thorgear. Oh, Thorgear, uh, Thor's weapon. Can we just call you Thor's weapon? Or Thor? Let's just call you Thor for short. Thor, this picture is amazing, number one. And two, uh, we love the one plus one. It really does take incredible pictures, especially in macro, which is what you've done here. Uh, if you guys want to send in your photography, uh, just like Thor did, Thor's weapon, you can email us tomorrow at cnet.com. You can also check out the show online. We're tomorrowdaily.com. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Send over your user feedback. Uh, you can always find me and producer Logan. I'm at Ashley Skev on Twitter, and producer Logan is at Logan Moy. Now, on that note, we will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact and science fiction. But until then, be good humans. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>